In this demo, I'll be going over how to configure Windows Firewall for Sage 100 Advanced and Premium. So first, what you want to do is open up Windows Advanced uh, Firewall Settings. A uh, quick way of doing that is uh, right-clicking the Windows logo in the bottom left corner, selecting Run, and typing in WF as in Frank, dot MSC, and then clicking on OK. And like I said, this opens up Windows Firewall with advanced security. So what we want to do is create an inbound rule for our Sage 100 Advanced or Premium Service. Um, you'll do them both the same way. Um, so what you want to do is right click inbound rules, select new rule. And you want to select program here and uh, click next. And for this program path, we want to browse to our MAS90 home folder and select the pvxwin32.exe. So we go browse, and I'm going to do this for my Sage 100 2020 installation. So this here is for premium. It would be the same steps for advanced. You would browse to that MAS90 folder, go to home, and you'll want to select pvxwin32.exe click open and then go ahead and click on next and you want to leave the default allow the connection on the action screen click next and on the profile for the network profile um, it's up to the client but normally I deselect public and if they're on a domain you'll definitely want to have domain checked and in some cases, if they're on a the domain, they may want to also have private check just in case they have some workstations or laptops that are plugged into their network but not associated with their domain. Um, but like I said, that's up to the client to decide what network profile they want to set that rule for. In this case, we'll leave it at domain and private and click next. And let's go ahead and give it a name. So I normally name it something like Sage 100. Uh, the year and then in parentheses the port number that I use uh, in this case is 9620 and you can copy the same name to the description if you like or you can just leave the description blank and go ahead and click finished and this setting will allow workstations to connect to the Sage 100 installation without receiving uh, server not found or connection timed out error message so what we want to do next is create an inbound rule for the SQL browser service if it's not already created and also the SQL server uh, service for the instance that's being used for this Sage 100 installation so first let's create a inbound rule for the SQL browser so right click inbound rule select new rule and we want to select port on the rule type screen and on protocol and port we want to apply it to the UDP protocol and the specified port we want it to be 1434 click next uh, we want to leave it at allow the connection and on the profile network profile screen deselect public and like I mentioned before, it's up to the client if they want to also include private if they're on a domain. But if they're not on a domain, you definitely you want to have private selected. Uh, click Next. And then we want to just call it the SQL Browser. And if you want, you can put the port. And click Finished. So next, we'll want to add the SQL server instance by um, finding out the path where the SQL server uh, application exists for this instance. One easy way to do it is right click the toolbar or the taskbar and select task manager and then services and go to open services and we want to find that SQL server instance that you're using so it always start with SQL server and then in parentheses the instance name so in this case we have the SQL server and then my instance is Sage 100 underscore 2020 so if I open that up 
on the general tab where path to execute you'll see the path to the program that's being used so we want to highlight it and we don't want to include the quotes so we want to start from the drive letter all the way to the executable SQL server spelled S-E-R-V-R.exe right click that and select copy and then you can close out of the services console and go back to Windows uh, firewall and advanced security so now what you want to do is right click inbound rules select new rule and you want it to be program rule type select next then you want to paste in the path that we just copied by right clicking and selecting paste and that should pull in that SQL SQLSERVR.exe for this ser SQL server instance go ahead and click next and we want to select allow connection and same as before we want to deselect public and leave domain in private in this case and select next and we want to call it the SQL server and then you can give it the you can say for sage 100 2020 uh, you can put in the instance name SQL Server and then in quotes uh, Sage 100 2020 and then click finished. One other thing if the client is on Sage 100 Advanced and uh, they are using the client server ODBC driver service you'll also want to create an inbound rule for that program. So what you want to do is select uh, inbound rule and select new and we want it to be a program as the rule type select next and then we'll browse to that sage same mass 90 installation but you'll want to select the pvx iosvr.exe program click open click next on the action screen uh, to select the default allow the connection click next and on the network profile deselect public click next and give it a rule CS ODBC driver service copy and paste that into the description if you like and click finished and like I mentioned before that's only for Sage 100 advanced premium does not use a CS ODBC driver service Alright, so that's the end of this video on how to configure Windows Firewall for Sage 100 Advanced and Premium. Thanks.